Hey guys, it's Cam Nickel here. I'm the National Sales Manager for Fusion at Keystone RV. Today we're gonna walk you through something new. So standing behind me is our 373, but it's an all new paint scheme we're offering for 2025. So a little bit of story behind this. I'm heavily involved in the toy world. It's something my hobbies kind of revolve around, but we wanted to build something that kind of showed our customer demographic. So you go anywhere where there's dunes, trails, anywhere where you can ride ATVs, Almost everyone on their camper, side-by-side, side, or even trailer has an American flag of some sort. So with this paint scheme, the matte on matte, with the chrome graphics on the back, I think that we're reaching a customer base that, that this is really screams for. So we'll go ahead and walk around back here. So for 2025, we have made several changes, mostly structural, to kind of help with some of the issues we've had down the road. So. We went from a 10 inch frame to a 12 inch frame. It's given us a ton of opportunity to expand our tank capacity as well as our front deck storage and, and pasture storage. So with that being said, we are now best in class in several different features. So our pasture storage went from 75 square cubic feet to 105. That's a best in class for any toy hauler on the market right now. Something else we've done is we've raised our tank capacities from 94 88 and 88 to 173, 104 and 104. That's best in class in every single category. That's amazing. So if you come around on this side, this is something that's going to be super helpful to you guys on the, on the end consumer side. We have actually managed to offset our convenience center and then stack our furnace and our water heater. So what this gives you is one, you don't have to open your pass through door to get to your convenience center but it also gives you a straight shoot all the way through with three points of entry and then we've saddle bagged each side. So this is where you're gonna get 105 cubic foot. So a couple of things up front here. So when we built this, the idea was to go overkill. So the total GVWR of the coach is gonna fall between 20 and 21,000 pounds. The Kurt Helix hitch is rated for 24,000 GVWR. So we've actually went overkill on it. So when we do all of our road testing, we'll do vibration sensors inside and out. We will test because vibration really is what kind of throws these coaches apart as you're going on the road. So between this and our new Dexter Easy Axle suspension components, we are basically cutting our vibration in half. So the coach should look better as you get to the campground, but there's no promises on that. <laughs> so something we've changed, and this is really for the guys that don't go hard on the generator, don't want to carry fuel with them as we've went and switched to a 5500 dual fuel system. So you can run it off LP, you can run it off gas, um, and it'll automatically switch over. So if you're running it on gas and you, for whatever reason, run out, it'll switch to your LP as long as you're filled up. So you will see it on the inside, but you can see it on the outside here. So we've went to the 4K windows with integrated blinds. Um, and then under here, this is where we've made some of our changes. So I talk about best in class a lot. This is a lot of best in class stuff. So we went from a 7K axle to an 8K axle. We went to the Easy Flex Dexter suspension system. And then we went to a Cooper H range tire instead of a G range tire and on a 17 and a half inch wheel. So where that 17 and a half inch wheel comes into play is you'll be able to fit independent suspension or disc brake conversions without actually having to change the wheels out. So we're thinking about the customer long-term down the road. Very nice. It's locked right now, but onboard air compressor is standard on all coaches. And then on the back side, you're gonna have a 50 foot power cord reel, completely standard. And then this is a Keystone exclusive. So you're gonna see this on both Fusion and Raptor, but it is a fully automated ramp door. Raise it up, raise it down. Okay. It's all automated. Very nice. Yep. Definitely like that one. Back in the garage, we've changed a couple things. Fusion this year has added a dovetail storage as well as we're sticking with our 5K welded frame tie downs, but we've added a cover to them. So they're gonna be much more comfortable to walk on, but when they're not in use, you're not gonna get that debris and dirt and stuff like that in there. Just get put your, the cover on them. Get your toes caught in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Looking for a fast setup solution for winter camping? Air skirts is the perfect way to keep cold air away from the undercarriage of your RV. Keeping your rig warmer, while cutting down on heating costs and helping to keep pipes from freezing. Air skirts are made from a military grade material designed to resist punctures. It takes less than an hour to set them up, a time saver compared to traditional skirting or foam board. This is the quickest, most hassle-free option for winter camping, and you don't have to drill into your rig. The air skirts fit snugly because they are customized to fit your rig for maximum air blockage. 
They also carry a variety of additional accessories to ensure a warm and cozy winter in your RV. Visit airskirts.com and use our promo code John and Mandy at checkout for a discount. So this is where we've made a ton of changes on the inside and we've really wanted to go with a darker, more elegant look and we think it looks really good. Something we've changed and I'll start from the ground up. So we went to flush four slides, which has given you about three to four more inches of width in the coach when it's fully opened up. But we've also taken our slide boxes and raised them as high as we can go. So they're not only even, but you're getting is the maximum amount of square footage in here that we can possibly build. And it feels super open, super big for a coach that's under 40 feet. Starting over here, so we actually have pass or pull out storage. Oh wow. Yep. Four burner residential style cooktop and then a best in class 20 cubic foot RV 12 or 12 volt refrigerator. Impressive. Oh wow, I didn't yep. see that. Drop down silverware drawer, solid surface countertops, farm style sink. And something that we've done and we've worked really hard on is we have taken every single space of blank storage and used it. There's no blank spaces in here. There's no wasteful space. We are using every square inch we possibly can. And if you want to come up here to the front with me. So I talk about these structural changes, but something that customers often overlook is when we change our, our frame went from a 10 inch to a 12, it's given us the ability to kind of expand our front deck. So we've grown four inches of shower space. It's also given you a pull out linen in the bathroom and then one point of entry. So you have a closed off private bedroom, king size bed, two more inches of ceiling height in here. Your stackable washer and dryer is over here. So it's not a combo. It's a full stackable. And then we've grown your closet. So you're actually going to have a full usable functional closet and then your dresser right here. Is this left up? Or? It will. It this will. one doesn't. This one doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on the tour today. If you have any questions, visit KeystoneRV.com. Find a dealer local to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for showing us around. You're welcome. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this video. Now, if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It'll help us out a lot. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and safe travels. To watch more videos like this one, click on one of these videos. See you on the next one.